Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the souvenirs you can get at Tokyo Station. I'm gonna get all the 10 souvenirs from this place called Gift Kiosk. They have all these like Tokyo banana and like you know famous and popular sweets and also some of the sweets that I thought would be interesting to show you. Alright, so I'm actually gonna try every single one of them and review them. With most of these souvenirs, you can definitely choose how big you want the box to be. So I got most of the boxes in the smallest size, if not all. But then if you're looking for a souvenir for 10 people or like 20 people, 30 people even, there are more options for you. So do decide on how many pieces of souvenirs you want. I am gonna start off with probably the most famous one. Tokyo banana. What's great about Japanese sweets is that most of these are individually wrapped and that's because it's a tradition in Japan to give out souvenirs to your relatives or when you're working um, to your colleagues and in Japanese workplaces it's kind of a norm it's not even nice it's more like kind of like an obligation to give your colleagues some souvenirs when you take days off from work and go somewhere nice. Okay so Tokyo banana looks like oh. Um, I got this in a box of four. Isn't it cute? It looks so fluffy. So when you go back to work after taking a few days off, it's kind of polite or it's kind of expected that you would go around people's desks and give these to people. Like say, yeah, that, that's like, that's literally me in the workplace. Anyway, my department is small, so I would just go around to individual people and like give it to them. And if they're not at the desk, then I would just leave it at their desk. And then when they come back, they'll be like, oh, who's this from? And then I'll be like, oh, that's from me. If you're in a department with a lot of people, then usually you would just buy like a big box of this thing and then put it in like a dedicated space. Yeah. Anyway, okay. That was a bit of a long introduction. Yeah, so let me try the tokyo banana so what's good about tokyo banana is that i got the one the original one but um there are a lot of like different flavors creme brulee tokyo banana i was really tempted to get that but i wanted to get some other things so i didn't um and then there's like caramel and sometimes there's like characters like i think they used to have like doraemon ones i don't know if they have it anymore i keep blabbing about random things okay let me try finally that's what you're looking for oh and some more to blab about uh i made some green tea yeah Oh, and I'm gonna put up some of the, the ingredients and the nutrition factors because I think some of you would be interested in that. My mom's allergic to almonds and, you know, Western snacks contain almonds most of the times. What I noticed, I wasn't cutting this yet because what I noticed is that they have these like small cuts, a lot of like small cuts at the top. I think it's usual to see just one, but they have a few, which means you can open them from literally anywhere. Wow. Let me choose the third one just because why not? Yes. So it's like this really fluffy um, cake kind of thing with cream inside. Oh, banana custard. Ca <laughs> banana custard inside. Okay. Oh, and it says you can chill it in the fridge or in the freezer like an ice cream. Wow, I'm just gonna have it um, room temperature. Mmm. Oh. So it does have really, really like soft cream inside. Wow, it's been quite a while since I last had Tokyo banana, but it's really good. Mmm, I see why it's so popular. Mmm, it's so fluffy. Oh my god, it's so easy to just eat the whole thing. And I will. <laughs> Although I have nine other sweets lined up. This pack in four was 594 yen. Mmm. That's actually pretty reasonable. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna show you the date of expiry. Um, the date I bought these snacks were 5th of May and I am filming this on the 7th of May. The eat by date for, for Tokyo Banana is May 15th. So it's not that long to be honest. And also I thought it's not heavy but it's quite bulky if you were to bring this back to your home country. Taste is great. Okay, maybe I'll rate it by taste. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd say 10 out of 10. Wow, we have a 10 out of 10 from the beginning. Actually, no, let's let's set it 9 out of 10 just because it's the first one. Sorry, Tokyo Banana. Um, and then practicality... I mean, it is in a box, so it, it probably wouldn't get squished in your suitcase, but it doesn't last that long, maybe two weeks, uh, maybe 5 out of 10. Sorry, it's good though. Okay, and then next one we get onto the Goma Tamago, which means sesame 
tom tomato, sesame, egg. Date of expiry is the May 24th. Oh, so this one comes in a pack of eight and it was 950 yen. Yeah, 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 not bad, not bad. Same as Tokyo Banana, I guess, because um, this one's got double the amount. And it is slightly heavier, I'd say. Let's try. I think I tried this like quite a few years ago, just, uh, just like once. Oh, I thought it would be fluffy, but it's no, it's like... It actually looks like an egg. Maybe it's like chocolate coating outside? What is this? Oh yeah, chocolate coating, it says. Oh. Whoa! That is so rich in the black sesame flavor. Black sesame with white bean paste, I think? Wait, it's like not too sweet. Sweetness is just perfect. It's really amazing. And it's so dense. Wow, you guys, that exceeded my expectations. However, black sesame seeds may not be a thing for everybody um, overseas. Although I liked the taste of it, I would give this an 8 out of 10 for taste, just thinking about, you know, everybody else in the world. And then practicality, I would give it a 6 out of 10 because it does last longer than Tokyo Banana, but it's quite heavy. But if you like sesame seeds, this is really, really good. Okay, candidate number 3 is going to be sugar butter sand tree. Um, I think this is quite famous, as the name suggests, it's sugar butter sand. Don't know what the tree is for, but sugar butter sand. Sand means like sandwich, I think. Short for sandwiches. It doesn't actually have sand inside. So this will last until July 22nd, so it's actually quite good. But I think it's something crispy and I'm not sure if this is break proof. It seems okay though. So unless you all, you you take these out individually and then just like throw them into your luggage, I think it's gonna be fine. You can break this in half and then have like a bite-sized piece. Oh, so there's like a bit of a cut in between. I guess I am gonna break it in half. Oh, okay. Ah, cute. Oh. Mmm. Oh my god, when you bite into it, the flavor of the butter like comes out. On the description, it says it's like a butter cereal sweet. So they use like normal flour, rye flour, um, or wheat flour. Taste, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's something everybody would like. Practicality, I'm not sure. This thing is quite bulky, right? 5 out of 10. I mean, this isn't Japanese at all. It's more like European. I swear anybody would like this. All right, let's now move on to number four. So this one is gonna be an oyatsu castella, which means snacks castella. I've heard that castella originated in Portugal and then Japanese people brought it into Japan. But it's like a really traditional Japanese snack, I'd say. Japanese Western snack. This company called Bummedo, they're really popular and famous for um, castella. They might be the oldest. There was an advertisement quite a few years ago, or maybe a few decades ago, I don't think I was born, that went like, Castella ichiban den baba niban Sanji no oyatsu wa bummeido They're famous for that song and the commercial I got the smallest one which was 270 yen but there were these like individually wrapped um, castellas so maybe if you're getting it for your relatives or colleagues or whoever it may be better that you get the bigger box that are individually wrapped Okay, let's open this thing Oh, so it's in a box like that Ah, oh. Consume by date is 25th of May, so it doesn't last that long, as you can probably imagine. Oh, it smells so nice, so eggy and like bakey with like a lot of caramel. Oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna get a plate and eat it with a fork. Elegantly with a fork. Or with my finger. Oh, and you need to peel this off, don't forget. Oh, and I might have this for breakfast tomorrow before going to work. Oh my god, it looks so aesthetic. Wow, don't you think? I mean, the edges are like perfect. Imagine me cutting this with a knife, it would be like... Oh, it's fluffy. Oh, okay. See, that's what I meant. <laughs> oh. Mmm, nothing beats an authentic castella like this. You know these things go really well with milk, but I can't drink milk, so I'll just do green tea. Uh, taste? There's nothing, you know, I can deduct points on, so 10 out of 10. We have our first full score. Sorry, Tokyo Banana, you deserve a 10 out of 10, but... Practicality? Uh, it's not very high because, you know, eat by date is pretty soon i'm um, not too soon though it's about the same as the sesame egg it's not heavy six out of ten yeah let's do that 
I'm being quite harsh on the practicality. <laughs> All right, candidate number five. I am gonna bring in something savory. Yes, Calbee's Jagabi. Kalbi is, I think, the biggest brand that produces potato chips in Japan. And they have a product called Jagabi. Normally, these are just long sticks of potatoes, but this one is Tokyo curry flavor. And the description says you can taste the sweetness of an onion and the denseness of cheese. Yes. Oh, and the character is so cute. Oh, you can find this guy's plushie at the Kalbi store in Tokyo Station. Um, it's a pack of five. It was $4.97. Not bad, not bad at all. And it looks like that. Oh, classy black packaging. Look. Easy to open. That's always a win. It's got a few sticks of the potatoes inside. In what country can you find potato chips for this amount? It is quite small, but it's it's good for snacks, I think. Maybe that's why Japanese people are skinny. Who knows? Mmm. <laughs> oh, you guys, that is amazing. So the name suggests Tokyo curry, right? And I do believe that it's not... It, it tastes like a Japanese curry, not like an Indian curry. Consume by date is September 2023. So we have quite a bit of time. Almost like four months. So that's great. It's not heavy at all. It is slightly bulky, but it's not too bad. Although it's really, really good, I am a sweet tooth. So I'm gonna be harsh, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, practicality, I'm gonna give this quite high. I mean, there's no reason to deduct points on, so just to deduct 1 point, 9 out of 10. Oh, we've got the highest point on practicality so far. All right, and then we have something I've been looking forward for personally. It's the Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory's Honey and Gorgonzola Cookies. Oh, and it says they use more than 60% of Gorgonzola cheese within the cheese powder. It looks like that. Oh, cute. It's got a nice silver packaging. And this one has 10 pieces inside, so that's actually... Oh, it's a lot. So on the brochure, it says they had salt and camembert cookie, which I was quite tempted to get as well, but I got the honey gorgonzola instead. Um, and also the milk cheesecake. Mmm. Oh, so this one's actually a cake, not like a cookies. It was 1,080 yen. Most of these souvenirs are like 100 yen each packet. So I see these are like chocolate sandwiched between two cookies. That's the perfect size, you know. Mm. Oh. oh, I see. So the chocolate inside has cheese powder inside. Wow. And it literally melts in your mouth. This chocolate is so good. And as it melts, the gorgonzola flavor, the smell kind of like comes out. Fun fact. This doesn't have almonds inside, so my mom can eat this. I'll bring it to her next time I see her. The taste was pretty good. Let's do 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10, why not? Oh, we have a first full score candidate. Okay, next up we have this thing called Berry Witch, which I've never heard of before, but the packaging looks really nice and cute. And also the actual product looked really cute. Look! Oh my god, isn't that pretty? Wow, it looks like a cake even. So yeah, although I've never heard of this before, I thought it's really cute. And if the flavor is amazing, why not? It's apparently by a company called CQ. I think, yeah, I have heard of it before. It, the individual packaging already is quite fancy, I think. It's like quite big as well. Yeah, it's like that big. You can see all these like vanilla beans inside the cream. Oh. Mmm, but the downside is that it disassembles really easily, but oh my god, the cream is so light It even tastes like, you know, fresh cream and the strawberries gives it the sweetness I think even these cookies are just good on their own. Okay, you guys That was good. You know, sometimes these like Instagrammable sweets tend to be not as good as the others But no, this one was actually pretty good. Although I'm gonna be quite critical on the scoring because um, I am comparing this sweets to other sweets and let's say like the cheese cookies just now, the gorgonzola cheese was really, really amazing. And also the castella, which I gave full marks on, was also really amazing. So compared to those, I wouldn't give it the same rating, but I'd still give it like an, an 8 out of 10. And obviously the looks of it is pretty amazing. So if you are looking for something more fancy and like nicer, um, I do definitely recommend this. Practicality wise, I'd give it a 5 out of 10 because that box only contains 3. Oh, actually, the best before date is August 23rd, which is a lot longer than I expected. So I'd give that a 7 out of 10. And these were 
680 yen for three of these. So it's over 200 yen for each one, which is a bit expensive, but considering the size, I think that's understandable. Right, next one, we have the Caramel Witch. Oh, wait, the previous one was Berry Witch. Oh, but this one's not, the other one was by C3 and this one's not by C3. Interesting, I don't even know what witch means. So let's open this. Oh, cute. And um, this one also I've never heard before, but it looked really nice. And also like the packaging. Um, it's very flat and very practical, I think. Does it, this one has, uh, oh, only five. Okay. Yeah, five inside. And it was 594 yen. So just over 100 yen for each one. <gasps> Pretty. So it seems like there are cookies and um, there's chocolate inside. Oh, there's caramel inside the chocolate. The caramel is gooey and the cookies are very, very light. Wow, that's an amazing combination. Oh my God. And there's just enough chocolate within the cookies. Taste wise, I like this better than any of the other sweets I had so far. Okay, I am definitely getting full. Um, after having nine sweets, doing this in one go was definitely not a good idea. But anyway, for the last candidate, we have this BTB Sable with black truffle butter. This one I've also never seen before, but I could not resist getting this. And it's so small and it, it's a bit different from the other packagings because it's like really stylish and elegant looking packaging. At uh, first, when I, when I saw this, I thought it was BTS Sable, but it was BTB Sable. So that's a bit of a brochure oh oh so it's like thin sheets of three okay and this one was 486 yen slightly more expensive compared to the other ones i'd say wow isn't that really really stylish it looks like something you would get at the hotel or something <laughs> so it's a sable a really thin sable like this you guys you cannot underestimate how truffly this smells even the packaging smells so much like black truffles okay let me cleanse my palette again so i can have the full truffle vibe oh and you guys the sable itself is also really really nice i thought it wouldn't have that much sweetness inside but actually it's a lot sweeter than i expected but like the truffles on the outside i think yeah these black dots are the truffles but these give it so much flavor it's so nice it's like kind of like sweet and salty at the same time with truffles oh my god you guys i have to admit that this one went way above my expectations yeah at first when i saw this i was like mm, i've never seen this before and it's from a company i have never heard before but oh my god you guys when you're in tokyo you have to get this so this one's the smallest packaging you can get it from a pack of three you know you can try it from this pack of three and maybe have it during your stay when you're in japan and then if you like if you really really like it then maybe you can get a bigger pack for your friends to try yeah i i highly highly recommend this if any of my friends come to tokyo i will definitely definitely recommend them this like one of this doesn't seem that much in terms of volume but the satisfaction level is just like so yeah i would definitely um give this 10 out of 10 for taste and practicality. I mean, it's not that big. It's really, really light as well. So I gave this one a 10 out of 10. So maybe I should give this one a 10 out of 10 too. Oh, I wanted to give Tokyo Foodie Mama a try on this, but it has almond powder inside, so she can't have it. That was the unhealthiest lunch I've ever had. <laughs> my bad. I found another souvenir deep inside my bag and this is me filming on another day. So this is candidate number 10 and it's called Butter Butler. The best buy date is June 13th and it's Butter and Earl Grey Financier. Yes. Oh. So that is a brochure. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, so they have Financier, Garlet and Caramel Pot, whatever that is. Yeah. Oh wow, that looks and smells really, really good. It smells a lot like Earl Grey. Oh my god, that is like so rich in both the butter flavor and the Earl Grey flavor. Wow, and it's actually quite light. Taste-wise, I'd give it 9 out of 10. Practicality, I'm not sure about this because it is a big box and there's only four of them. So I'd say um, 6 out of 10. 
All right, so that was my very, very honest and personal opinion on these 10 snacks that you can get at Tokyo Station. Now that I've tried all the 10 souvenirs from Tokyo Station, let me go back and review all of these. So Tokyo Banana, taste-wise, it was really good, but because it was quite big and heavy and it didn't last for that long, practicality wasn't that good. The Goma Tamago, if you're a fan of black sesame seeds, go for it. The pressed butter sand, yeah, it was good. It was good, yeah. Castella, yeah, it's a very original, um, authentic sweets in Japan, so it's definitely good. Kalbi, potato chips, yep, great savory snack in between all these sweets, for sure. Um, the cheese cookie thing, that was amazing. Gorgonzola, I love Gorgonzola cheese, yeah. The fancy berry looking sweets, that was very Instagrammable. I loved the presentation of it. Um, Taste-wise, yeah, it was definitely good, but not as good compared to the other ones. Caramel cookies, oh, gooey caramel inside amazing if you like caramel chocolates cookies then definitely give this a try and the last one black truffles oh my god so yeah overall i gave the gorgonzola cheese one a 10 out of 10 for taste and practicality and also the caramel cookies a 10 out of 10 for practicality and taste and truffles it really depends on what you're looking for and i would definitely um, recommend all of the 10 sweets to any of my friends but yeah i hope you give them a try as well let me know which souvenir interested you the most or if any of your favorites were not in the list do let me know because i would definitely love to know that's it for the video today thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it that thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about japanese food and culture bye it's like this fluffy my camera's not focusing my camera's still not focusing hmm what if i hide myself okay i think that's working it's like the same as the goma tamago the sesame tamago tamago <laughs> keep saying this. the it's just it's around the same it